The National Guard is on red alert tonight as fear of a bird flu pandemic spreads across the U.S. Good evening, I'm Todd Glickman. U.S. government officials put the National Guard on red alert today after three pharmacies in New York City were looted by people looking for Tamiflu. The looting is the latest indicator that panic is spreading fast in the tri-state area of New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. The heightened concern in that region stems from a suspected case of bird flu at the headquarters of cell phone manufacturer Vaxon in Ewing, New Jersey. The headquarters was quarantined after a Vaxon manager returned from China this week with flu-like symptoms. The Centers for Disease Control has not yet confirmed whether or not that manager has in fact contracted avian flu, but says we'll make an announcement about the case very soon. While the only suspected U.S. case of bird flu is in New Jersey, Panic is not just contained to the tri-state area. People across the country are reacting to the possibility of a pandemic. Companies coast to coast are reporting absenteeism rates as high as 40% as workers stay home to be with their families. Supermarket chains are experiencing unusually high sales as consumers stockpile essential foods. And a number of major sporting events, including a handful of NFL games, may be postponed. In the midst of the growing panic, Human Services Secretary Joan Smith is urging people to remain calm, saying there is still no firm evidence that a pandemic has begun. As for a U.S. vaccination program, Smith says they will not launch one until the pandemic is confirmed. But if vaccinations become necessary, high-priority workers, such as emergency responders, will be first in line. That news is drawing heavy criticism from citizens' groups, and a CTL poll found that more than 80% of American adults do not believe government assurances that the nation has an adequate supply of flu vaccine. Still to come tonight on CTL News, how the threat of avian flu is impacting the sports world, which leagues are calling it quits till the panic subsides. Find out next.